Hey, welcome to course 94471, Aerodynamics and Performance. This is going to be a quick introduction to the course, primarily by reviewing the syllabus, and then followed by a quick review of the second and third year fluid mechanics, or at least the key parts of them that I want to you to keep in mind uh, as we start moving into this course. So let's start with the syllabus. Okay, so while the syllabus can already be found in uh, PDF form on the course Clue site, uh, there will also be paper copies available at the first class on Thursday, January 8th. So I'll go through this briefly um, and highlight key points, and for the remainder of the details, you can take the time to go through it yourself. So my name is Dr. Jeff Defoe. My office is in room 2172 in the CEI. My office hours that I'm proposing, uh, unless there's significant reason that a large amount of the students in the class won't be able to attend, uh, are Thursday uh, immediately before and immediately following the tutorial. So 1.30 to 2.30 and 4.30 to 5.30. You can also make other uh, office visits by uh, emailing me uh, to make an appointment. Class is located in Erie Hall in room 2125 at 11.30 a.m. to 12.50 Tuesdays and Thursdays. We also have a two-hour tutorial each week uh, in CEI building 2104 uh, from 2.30 to 4.30, well, to 4.20. In terms of the division of time, I want to bring your attention to this. So, one of the ways that this course is going to be different from most courses you've taken, though familiar to those of you, those of you who've taken my course last summer, uh, Aerospace Engineering Fundamentals, is that there will be videos of each lecture available prior to class, and you will be expected to have watched these and or read the lecture material before coming to class. That ought to take about 20% of your time that you devote to this course. You'll spend a little more than half of your time doing individual work, working on homework assignments. There's a project in the course with two parts. You'll be working on that individually, as well as working in the tutorials. Finally, class time, the lecture, is going to be very interactive in this course, just as it was in the Air Fundamentals course. And there'll be many in-class discussions and interactive problem-solving opportunities. And that should probably take something like a quarter of the total time you devote to this course. So it's a three-hour lecture, two-hour tutorial course. The Aerospace Engineering Fundamentals course is listed as a prerequisite. That's 94370. However, that prerequisite can be waived with the instructor's permission. If anyone knows of someone who wants to be in this course who didn't take 94370, but who successfully completed third year fluids 92320 um, with a good grade, uh, tell them to come and see me and uh, I'll discuss potentially signing them into the course. The course description, this is as per the university course calendar. It turns out this is a little bit out of date, but close enough. So topics we're going to cover include airfoils and wings, uh, and the resultant forces and moments on them. We're going to talk about viscous effects and compressibility effects and how they affect aerodynamics. We're also going to talk about air stability, though I don't think we're going to have time to talk about controls. These aircraft performance indicators mentioned here, uh, we're not going to spend much time on, as actually most of these were covered in the Aerospace Engineering Fundamentals course. The URL for the Clue site is here, as well as Electro Tools site. For those of you who aren't familiar with Electro Tools, it's a uh, third party website to which the University of Windsor has a subscription, which allows for interactive in class activities. Um, using uh, multiple choice questions as well as uh, other tools like short answer interactive problems. So 
This is something that we'll use extensively during in-class activities so that you can provide anonymous answers to questions um, and from those we can learn together uh, more about the material. The primary text is Fundamental Aerodynamics by Anderson. This is the same book that was required for 94, 370. So for those of you who took that course, it's a little bit less financially painful um, since you're using it for two courses. For those of you uh, who didn't take that course, uh, unfortunately, it's not a very cheap book, but it's a very good book and it's well worth the money. And you're going to need it for this course as about two thirds of the course it directly follows the book and most of the homework assignments will be coming from the book as well. An additional resource that I don't require you to have, um, but that you could seek out on your own if you are interested, is Flight Vehicle Aerodynamics by Mark Drella, which is available from MIT Press. And this is the material from which uh, I pulled some of the aircraft stability part of the course, which is not uh, covered by your, your textbook. There's also some web resources here. These are not really strictly required for this course but they're helpful background reading and uh, additional details if you have interest in some of these topics. Some of this you're going to be familiar with, so I'll skip over it. Um, basically, I'm going to try to be a good teacher, and you need to try to be a good student. Uh, show up to class prepared, um, do your work, and make sure that you're putting in solid effort. One thing I like to do is make sure that the students in my class are understanding the material that we're teaching. So uh, after each lecture, you can send me an email um, or you can fill out an index card, which I'll try to bring to class whenever I successfully remember to do so, um, with any questions or things that are unclear. And as long as I receive these at least a day before the following lecture, um, I'll try my best to address them at the beginning of the following class. The course schedule, um, of course, is approximate and subject to change, but this should be pretty accurate. Um, essentially, we're going to start uh, the first two weeks. Um, well, there's only one lecture in the first week, but so the first three lectures that span the first two weeks um, will be essentially review. Um, today's lecture will cover a review of fluid mechanics, which should be a review to everyone in the course. The following two lectures next week should be a review of material that was discussed in the Aerospace Engineering Fundamentals course, um, but this will be largely new to those of you who didn't take that course. Um, so note the reading assignments are extensive for these three review lectures. That's because this material shouldn't be new, um, in but it's highly recommended that you take the time to go back to your textbook and at least have a brief read through of these sections so that you can make sure that you have internalized the, the key takeaways from these topics because we're going to be directly building on them later in the course. Okay. After that, we're going to move on to general lift distributions, which we didn't talk about last time, um, and numerical modeling of wings using vortex lattice methods. Then I'm going to spend a week talking about compressible flow um, in general. And then we'll spend three lectures going in detail in how to model subsonic compressible flow over airfoils. We'll also um, then introduce, uh, I'll introduce a course project, which is going to have two parts, um, which is going to be basically an individual design project um, the two parts will be due at different times to help break it up for you and make sure that you don't leave too much to the end. And you'll uh, get more detail of that later on. But essentially, it's going to have to do with designing uh, an airfoil and a wing and then assessing the stability of an aircraft. One thing you'll note here is the timing of assignments. So for example, in week four, homework four will be given out Thursday afternoon by end of day. 
that will not be due the following week, though the following tutorial will deal with that topic. It will be due Monday morning of the week after. Homework will always be due uh, electronically uh, whenever possible. We'll discuss that uh, later on if there are any issues with that. So you'll have more than a week to do each homework assignment. After study week, we'll have a review for the midterm exam and then an introduction to the next topic of the course, which is flight dynamics and aircraft stability. And the midterm will be on the Thursday tutorial period of the first uh, week after the study break. So after that, we'll spend another five lectures talking about flight dynamics and aircraft stability before moving on to talking about viscous flows and boundary layers in the last few weeks of the course. There will be three homeworks related to boundary layers in the last three weeks of class. However, none of these will be to be handed in for points. They will be for your benefit because these topics will be on the final exam. The final lecture before the exam review will be tying together the impact of boundary layers on aircraft aerodynamics. These important dates are standard for any course you're taking this term. Please let me know uh, as soon as possible if you have any accommodation forms for uh, religious reasons or uh, exam conflicts. There are four learning outcomes for this course. And they can generally be divided into the three main topics of the course plus uh, the, the additional learning outcome associated with the project. So the first is analyzing the performance of 2D airflow sections and 3D wings in both compressible, incompressible, and subsonic compressible flow using both analytical and numerical tools. Next is to assess the stability of aircraft configurations using flight dynamics analysis. Uh, again, this is using both analytical and numerical tools. Third is to qualitatively account for viscous effects in aerodynamic flows and apply some approximate quantitative methods um, to capture the effects of boundary layers. Finally, associated with the project is to be able to clearly use written and visual communication to describe the approach, methodology, results, um, and analysis for an investigation of airfoil and wing aerodynamics as well as aircraft stability. In terms of evaluation, there are eight total homework assignments. Each one is worth 2% of your overall grade for a total of 16%. The midterm exam, which is closed book, will be worth 30% of the final grade. The first part of the project, and I'm looking at this, I think this due date needs to be updated, but that's all right. There's uh, time to update the syllabus. I think I've pushed this due date back uh, by a week, um, give you a bit more time. Uh, the first part will be worth 6%, and the second part will be worth 8%. And the final exam, again, closed book, is 40%. Uh, for the test, you shouldn't need anything more than a basic handheld calculator, no major programmable calculators, and so those are, um, while you can use a programmable calculator if that's all you have, um, nothing that can store external documents uh, will be allowed. Um, and really, th the point is that you don't need to remember formulas. Uh, any complicated formulas you'll be given on, on the exam. And I'm much more interested in testing your ability to think than your ability to remember. Uh, is there anything else interesting? This is all relatively standard here. You can see the mapping to the graduate attributes of learning outcomes. 
and breaking it down, this course is 90% or so design, uh, science with a 10% or so design. So that wraps it up for the syllabus. Now let's do a general introduction to the course.